Canceled at least tomorrow at Bruce Middle School in Lawrence. A fire today forced all the students and the staff to evacuate. The windows, they were blown out, and a classroom was flooded and charred. WBZ's Nick Giovanni's live in Lawrence, where crews were boarding that building up tonight. Nick? And Lisa, the damage goes far beyond these boarded windows you can see along the second story of the building. When you factor in the smoke and the water damage that went with it, it's why the school is closed tomorrow, as you mentioned, but perhaps even longer. A bucket truck sat outside the Bruce School in Lawrence well into Monday evening, hoisting plywood to replace windows that had been shattered hours earlier. I thought it was going to be a regular day. Julio Santana is a seventh grader at the school. He says he was sitting down for his first class of the day when he smelled an odor he assumed was a science project next door. It was like okay at first, and then it started getting worse to smell, and then it started getting worried. And then I told the teacher to go check in the class next to us. When Julio and his teacher opened that classroom door, he says they quickly realized this was no experiment. There was like smoke everywhere, and like. When I looked on my left, there was fire there. It was in that moment as smoke consumed the classroom and began seeping into the hallways. Nearly 600 students and teachers were evacuated from the Bruce School and transported to Gilmet Middle School, not knowing when they could return. The building will be not occupied for an extended period of time. We're just pleased that uh, you know all our kids and staff members got out safe. Um, the procedures that we practiced worked. And the superintendent's office told me there is a, quote, need for speed right now in figuring out how long this cleanup process is going to take to where they can get the students back in the building. They tell me for now it, they could quite possibly keep this school closed the rest of the week. We'll certainly keep you posted. For now, we're live in Lawrence. Nick Giovanni, WBZ News.